Good evening. Welcome to PLL on TSRs. Tonight we start the PLL gauntlet. It's the quarterfinal round. As the Chaos and Archers clash in a rematch of last Friday night into Saturday morning. It's a thrilling matchup in which the Chaos prevailed 11-9. Hopefully we'll not go that late tonight. Hopefully we'll have some great weather out in Salt Lake City. In fact, I can take a quick look. Oh, yeah. Sunny skies. Mid, low to mid 70s, so I say that's a good night. Chaos coming in as the sixth seed. The Archers, the third seed. Archers were able to gain that third seed by defeating the Whip Snakes on Sunday in an overtime thriller, 15 to 14. And the Chaos moved up as well, picking up, or despite the loss to the Redwoods, 10 to 9. The first of three matchups this week and tomorrow, doubleheader at 2.30. The second-seeded Atlas take on the seven-seeded Cannons, the survivors of the PLL Hell in a Cell. And that will follow by the Whip Snakes and the Redwoods. What's starting to become the premier rivalry of the PLL could be the Yankees Red Sox, yeah, the Bears Packers, the Celtics Lakers, I guess they're still got a rivalry going. In. I mean, this is Michigan, Ohio State, Duke, North Carolina. That could be that of the PLL. As the Whip Snakes are trying to, for their third straight PLL title and looking to remain the only team to have a PLL championship. So, uh, I got to look back at who plays who. If they win, yeah. I want to say the winner of this game plays the winner of the Atlas and Cannons tomorrow, but I got to be sure. Yes, that is correct. So the winner of this game will play the winner of Atlas Cannons, and the winner of Redwoods Whip Snakes will play the Water Dogs in the semifinal round on September 5th. So Labor Day weekend, all leading up to the championship down in D.C. on the 19th. So, a little bit of perspective on how these two teams have done in postseason play. We'll start off with the Chaos, who last year, despite not winning a game in the regular season, at least they survived the elimination game against the Chrome 19-14, upset the Archers in the semifinal, and made the Whipsnakes sweat quite a bit in the first three quarters before Running out of gas and losing the PLL championship to the Whip Snakes. It's 12 to 6. So that was in 2020-2019. Lost both playoff round one and round two games. Lost round one to the Whip Snakes and round two to the Redwoods. So. Meanwhile, for the Archers, as I pointed out last year, upset by the Chaos in the semifinal. Prior to that, won their elimination game over the Atlas, 11-9. In 2019, they split playoff round one and two. Lost round one to the Redwoods, 16-12, uh, but beat the Chrome in round two, 12-10. And did win the first draft pick game over the Atlas, 25-7. So in convincing fashion, so. 
looking to try to atone for last year. Archers also looking to avoid joining the Montreal Canadiens, Las Vegas Raiders, and Baltimore Ravens as teams with three or more losses on TSR without a win. So not a club they want to be a part of. In fact, amongst teams with multiple loss, more than one loss on TSR. So let's see. I got to get down the line. Right now, the Houston Astros with two losses. Uh, unfortunately, my computer wasn't cooperating with me, so I couldn't call their win over the Yankees on July 11th. So right now, the Astros. The Nationals are 0 2. They lost 2020 season opener, even if it was a shortened game. And to the Milwaukee Brewers back Memorial Day weekend. The St. Louis Cardinals 0 2 on TSR. One of those losses best remembered for Beer Snake. That's that's MLB in the NFL. I'd already mentioned the Baltimore Ravens. I've already mentioned the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, uh, that's so far it. And then NHL. Uh, I gotta go down the line. So I've not called a win for. I don't think I've called a win for the Rangers. They're 0-2. Uh, I would already mentioned the Montreal Canadiens 0-3. Uh, Central... I think the Central's from the Pacific. And that's it. And then you got the Archers. Redwoods haven't won a game on TSR. They're 0 2. Lost last year in the lone game I called against the Whipsnakes, the championship rematch, and then lost to the Atlas earlier this year. I'm just trying to think, who else have I not called a win for? Chaos got off that list last week. Oh, Clemson Tigers football, if you can believe. They're 0-2. So Clemson football fans are probably telling me don't call any of their games this year. I think it's it. So 10 teams with more than one loss without a win. And Archer loss would move them right up there with the Canadians and the Raiders. 0-3. Uh, I anticipate, but it's not said soon, that I will call the Monday night opener between the Ravens and Raiders. So something would have to give there. Less than five minutes to face off. Open the 2021-2022 sports year. Going to be something spectacular. I plan on doing the NFL. I plan to bring back the NHL. Going to attempt to do some college football, but Saturdays are tough for me because I'm always out and about. But maybe 
Thursday, Friday night football. You know, might get a quiet Saturday. So, yeah. Football, hockey, college football. Uh, plan to introduce BattleBots Watch Party. I think that season starts up in December. Plan on doing college lacrosse. Plan on debuting college baseball. The MLB next year. Uh, I also dabbled with the idea of doing NASCAR. That's going to be interesting. The USFL. And I've also considered golf. PGA, if you can believe that. I uh, saw a clip of, I think it was Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart doing commentary for golf. And it's like, hmm, golf commentary. That'd be something. And the best part is I could be as loud as I want because I'm not at the course. Got the golf announcers are like, and right now he's going right up to the hole. We'll put it in. Oh, what a sink. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have to whisper. I could be as loud as I want. I'd be like, let's send this one to the hole. It's going, going, and it goes! Or something like that. So, yeah. It could be an epic year next year. Or it could be an absolute disaster. So I'm trusting this is going to finish up. Let the gauntlet begin. Face off coming up in a bit. Last weekend, Archers of Chaos played an epic showdown late night in Albany. Chaos prevailing 11 to 9. They throw a wrench into the Archers' plans of getting the first round by. Going to 
11 to 9. Big three for the archers. Last week, Will Manning held scoreless in the game against the Chaos. Brandon Mint, week eight, just two assists, and Tom Schreiber, one goal. And that was compared to week two. Manny had five goals, a Mint, two goals, and four assists. Right now, Archers got good odds of winning the championship. Only the Water Dogs have the better odds. Chaos a long shot. Chaos and Cannons both long shots. Whip Snakes third. Atlas fourth, despite being the number two seed. So. A lot of people still not buying the Atlas. Chaos last year defeated the Archers in the PLL semifinal, 13 to 9. So let's see if the Archers can get some revenge. The winner set to play the winner of Atlas and Cannons. Cannons. Well, I mean the Cannons early on looked like the transition from the MLL to the PLL. Wasn't quite going so smooth until they beat the Archers, and I guess that breathed some life into them. Won that game. They did lose Week 7, but that win against the Chrome and the PLL Hell in a Cell, reason why they're playing tomorrow. Chris Bates, coach of the Archers, 2-2 two and two career record in the PLL postseason. And in net tonight for the Archers, it will be Adam Geidelman. Let's see. It's allowed 9.5 goals per game, 95 saves on the year. Save percentage is 61.7. Leads the PLL. And on the other side, plays Riordan. 10.6 goals allowed a game. 149 saves leads the PLL. And is second in PLL. Save percentage with 61.1. Of course, number one, his opponent, Adam Geidelman, nominee for Goalie of the Year. And set to take the face off for the chaos. It'll be Max Adler. And for the Archers, it'll be Stephen Kelly. And we're ready to rock and roll in Salt Lake City. Let the PLL gauntlet begin. And ball taken by the Ken. Oh, violation. So it will go to the Archers to start things off. Kelly with it. Passes. All right, this is Holman with it. And he'll go behind the net to a Ment. Into attack. Now he passes. Behind the net. As that's Connor Fields. Lost it, but he gets it back. Gets it over to a mint. Passes it over to Schreiber. Schreiber looking. Pass. Shot. No. Pass. And Riordan will pick it up for the chaos. They look to move it up. As this is Jared Newman with it. Two point shot goes wide. And a chaos wasting no time going for the long ball. That is how they won last weekend in their game against the Archers. Taken out by O'Keefe. Going to the right to the left side, I should say. And now the chaos looking to go around the horn. Cutting it back to the middle. Pass. Shot off the pipe. And it will go out of bounds. Look like O'Keefe getting one off the pipe. Chaos maintain possession. To the right side of the net. Now looking to go behind the net. Going around the horn. Coming back to the middle. And the pass. Into the center. This is O'Keefe. Backtracking. Now looking to attack. O'Keefe trying to drive in. He couldn't pull off. Pass in the middle. 
And passing it back. Burned. To the middle shot. Guy only got a piece of it. And Frazier will chase it down out of bounds. It will still remain with the chaos. Glad you could join us here on this Friday night for some PLL postseason action, or as I call it, the PLL gauntlet. As Chaos got it behind the net. This is Dane Smith passes. This is Wes Berg. Berg looking to attack. Behind the net passing. Chaos going around the horn. O'Keefe with it. Passes. And this is Josh Byrne. Byrne. Looking, looking past set up shot. Got him and kicks it out. And it will stay with the chaos. Geidelman making some saves early on. Oh, no, it's going to be Archer's balls. The Archer's got close to it. Geidelman coming up big early. Three saves. As Schreiber gets a pass midfield. And pass. The rat lift, and he'll drop it back. And a pass over to Holman. And he'll pass it to his right. Now a drop back. Looking to attack. Pulls back. Thought about it from two point range. Field shot. Score! Connor Fields draws first blood. And the archers are on the board. They lead it 1 0. As Fields went left to right to get by his defender. And beats Riordan to the right side. Beating his former Albany teammate. And he scores the first goal of the 2021 PLL gauntlet. And face off one by the Archers. And ball still up for grabs. And chaos. No, they couldn't come away with it. Ball still up for grabs. Frazier trying to get down on the Archer side of the field. Archer's coming away with it. And look at a two point shot. Riordan gets a piece of it. Chaos coming away with it. This is Ann McKay. He passes. Burn with it. And try to drop it back to Kyle Jackson, but he couldn't come up with it. Jackson tries to start! Kyle Jackson! Able to come away with it, take advantage of the open net. We're tied at one! And a crazy sequence there. Eidelman could not come up with it. Jackson was able to get it and fire at the open net before Geilman was able to come back. And for Jackson, his first goal of the playoffs, knots it up at one. And Jackson, five games this season, only had three goals. And Adler wins the faceoff for the chaos. And he's going to look to take it up. Adler trying to tiptoe. Managed to stay in bounds somehow. Now passes. Now go behind the net. Now they're going around the horn. Got seven and a half to play in the opening quarter. And Tanner Cook dropping it back. This is Byrne. Byrne trying to get through. And a pass. Now going around the horn behind the net. Looking to attack. And the shot goes wide. We'll stay with the chaos as Jackson will take it out. Only with three to shoot. So heave. And nothing going. The Archer's coming away with it. Would have been a shot clock violation anyway. As Holman passing it back to a meant. 
And Archer's going around the horn now. Schreiber with it. Looking to attack. Schreiber attacking. Looking, looking. Now attack. Shot. Riorta gets it. Chaos coming back the other way. This is McKay with a full head of steam. Pass. Shot. Score! Burns buries it in the back and the Chaos take the lead. Archers opened things up early, but the Chaos has scored the last two. We're midway through the first. Chaos two, Archers one. Back in Salt Lake City with a Chaos have a 2-1 lead. Thanks to goals by Kyle Jackson and Josh Byrne. And Jackson scored after Geidelman over pursued on the ball that left an open net. And Byrne just before the break, bearing one in the back. Adler in the face-off circle. And face-off taken by the Chaos. Here's Adler. Adler passes. Shot! Geidelman gets a piece of it. And now Geidelman out with it. Drops it back. And Archer's getting across. This is Holman with it. Going to the right side. Amit with it. Back to Holman. As we approach six-minute mark here in the first. Go around the horn. Now behind the net. And the pass. Shot. And Ray already got a piece of it. And Manny avoids touching it and he'll keep possession. Manny on the left side. Looking to attack. Looking, looking. Sets up. Shot. No! He did not get it. Shriver passes to a mint. Shot going just wide right. And looking to attack. And a match on score! Upstairs in the attic where all the junk is! And a man has tied this one up! So after one just goes wide to the right, a man comes back and buries it top shelf. Hating the upper right hand corner.
I'll make that the upper left-hand corner. I'm sorry. 13 goals on the season for Ament. His first of the playoffs. Ties it up at two. As a face-off violation will make it chaos ball. As McKay will take it up. He passes it. Got away. And fighting for it. Archer's coming away with it. On the aired pass. Here's Holman. Passes to Ament. Looking to attack. He's to the right-hand side. Behind the net. Looking. 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 Now looking to attack. Drops it back. 23, that is Dominique Alexander. He would drop it back. Now going around. This is LeClaire. LeClaire. Trey LeClaire going in. Shot goes wide left. It will stay with the Archers. And Ament coming out with it. To the left of the net. Passes it across the field. And it got away. But the shot clock expired anyway. Chaos coming up with it. As we pass the four-minute mark here in the first quarter. Here comes Dane Smith. Pulling off to the right. Uh, Picked up the left-hand side. Now the chaos looking to go around the horn. Burn with it. Burn. Cutting it to the middle. And he lost it. And the archer's coming away with it. And the pass to Holman got away. Holman able to pick it back up. Cuts it up to the middle. Shot. No go. Looked like that was Mark McNeil. Shot that one behind the net. Archer's coming out with it. And to the left-hand side, looking to attack. And that's Connor Fields. Fields passes behind the net. This is a meant. Circling around. Make that Tom Schreiber. Schreiber trying to stay on his feet. He will. Drops it back. This is LeClaire. Passes. Homage. Passes. Amet, he lost it. Ball up for grabs. Amet still has it. Passes. Holman, shot wide. Four seconds left on the shot clock, so they're going to have to heave it. Two and a half to go in the opening quarter. And he'll just throw it away. And the chaos will come away with it. And right now... Jared Newman with a broken stick. This chaos look take it up. Coming up on two minutes to play here in the opening quarter of a tied game. Pass. Gets it over. This is Tanner Cook. He'll pass it. And a pass back to Cook. Gonna attack the middle. Lowry shot score! Inside the arc and the chaos! Take a 3-2 lead. I think that was Dane Smith, number 92. Hitting it from just inside the Argus foot touch before he shot it. Yeah, yes, it was Dane Smith. Able to bounce it home. And his first goal of the playoffs ties it up at three. And phase off taken by Adler. And he'll drop it back to Reordan. Pass. Chaos take it in. O'Keefe passing. 
As chaos go around the horn as we're under 90 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Burn with it. I'm going to cut it into the middle. Now it goes back to the left of the net. Trying to cut it back in the middle. Shot. Looked like it was blocked. Archer's coming away with it. And, yep, the Archer's coming away with it. They lost it. Jackson scores! Kyle Jackson again! And that puts the cast up 4-2. to two. As Jackson again picking up a ground ball and putting it in. And it was... I didn't see you did, couldn't pick it up. Dominique Alexander couldn't get it. And then that was Matt McMahon who couldn't hold on to it. I think it was Latrell Harris who had a problem holding on to it as well. So Archer's getting careless with the ball, leading to two chaos goals, both by Jackson. And ball still up for grabs. Still up for grabs. And they're still fighting for it. Somebody's got to come away with it. And the Archers finally will. And pass over to Ament. Archers can contest for the final shot. And it looks like that's what Ament will be doing. 30 seconds to go. Goes behind the net to Will Manny. They're going to go around the horn, try to attack. Cutting it to the middle. Pass it over to Schreiber. Schreiber. Shot. Score! Tom Schreiber trips the deficit to one. With 14 seconds to go. Set up a nice screen, beat Riordan low. And that was Ryan Ambler who set up the screen there. For Schreiber, 14 goals on the season, his first of the game. And trims the deficit to one. 14 seconds left. Kelly trying to pick it up. And still up for grabs. Archer's coming away with it. They'll try one more. Try to pass to the middle, and it's free. Chaos come away with the heave. We'll go out of the back of the end zone, and that will do it for the first quarter. Twelve minutes in the books here in the PLL gauntlet. After one, it is Chaos 4, Archers 3.
About to start the second quarter. Chaos holding a 4 3 advantage. Trip to Philadelphia on Labor Day weekend at stake. So Schreiber scored the last goal to trim the deficit to 4 3. Midfielder of the year nominee. As Adler and Kelly. Face off and a violation on the archers. So now it's taken by the chaos. Outshot the archers 12 11 in the first quarter. And shots on goal, outshot them on goal 8 to 7. And dropping it back. Going around the horn now behind the net. Looking to attack. Sets it up out front. Shot score! Tanner Cook! And it's now 5-3 chaos. As a nice setup in front. Let's see who, who, who had the nice pass. Uh, was it Jackson? As Tanner Cook looked like he was right at the doorstep. And yes, it was Jackson with the nice setup. And Cook was able to get open and just bury it. And face off. Looks like Adler trying to come away with it. Still up for grabs. And it will go to the Archers. And this is Jared Connors with it. He's already part of a championship team just three months ago with the UVA Cavaliers. Let's see if he can now win one at the pro level at the PLL. Archers looking to attack. Dropping it back. Schreiber with it. Schreiber passes, field shot, no go. And that's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to go to the chaos. And Chase Frazier will take it out for the chaos. Looking passes, and this is C.J. Kastaba back to Cook. I'll make that uh, Frazier now going around the horn. Dane Smith with it now. Passes. Now along the left side. Looking to attack. And pass over to West Berg. Berg cut it to the middle. Passes. And try to set up in front. Gets away. Archers try. Or chaos. No, they stepped in the crease. Archers coming away with it. This is Ratliff. Ratliff. Lost it. Ball still up for grabs, and it looks like the Chaos are going to come away with it. And Smith, able to stay in bounds, gets it to Riordan. And a 
timeout called by the chaos. As Scott Ratliff was running with a full head of steam, but lost control of as he entered the uh, arch. And we'll step aside. 9.38 to go in the second. Chaos 5, Archers 3. Back in Salt Lake City, Chaos holding a 5-3 advantage. 9.38 to go in the second. And they will have the ball to start up. Start, start back up, I should say. Start with his Dane Smith. You can take it across the field. He'll pass it. And the Chaos now across midfield. Gets it over. And Smith passes it to Berg. Berg looking to attack. Coming along the left side. Now behind the net. It up to Frazier. Pass. Shot wide. And it will go out. We'll stay with the chaos. And Jackson passing it to Frazier. Frazier looking to attack. Now he passes it. Got away. And O'Keefe could not come away with it. It'll go out of bounds. It'll go to the Archers. Ball control, not a strength for either side in this first half. And he even got away! The Chaos will take it right back! Frazier with it, coming along the right side, drops it back. And another drop back. Back to Frazier, along the right side, he'll go behind the net. And the Chaos look to go around the horn, back to Frazier. And this is Ryan Smith with it. Back to Frazier. Back to Jackson. Going around the horn. Attacking. Shot gets away. Gets away. Chaos still with it now. 19 on the shot clock. This is Jackson. Behind the net. Looking. Looking. Shot. Score! Hat trick! Kyle Jackson! And it is now 6-3 chaos! And um, the Michigan star coming out tonight. And he has so far shot. He only had three goals all year. He's got three in the first half alone. Just beats Geidelman square on. Three goals and an assist. He's filling in for Chris Cloutier, and he has done a great job as ball still up for grabs in the faceoff circuit, now taken by the Archers. This is Mark McNeil. Passes. To Manny, to Ament. Archer's looking to go around the horn. As Schreiber drops it back. Now attacking and trying to shoot. He held back. Ament behind the net. 
Looking. Pass. Shot. Score! Ambler! Upstairs in the attic where the jump is and they cut the deficit to two. And that's the second time tonight Riordan got beat upstairs. Ambler got open and painted the left hand corner. Thirteen goals this season, his first in the playoffs. And the archers coming away with it. Kelly drops it back to Ratliff. Struggled to pick it up. It's still up for grabs. And it went over and back. It will go to the chaos. And coming up with it, this is Costabile. Passing it to Mark Glissini. The Frazier. Eighth turnover by the Archers. Berg with it. Chaos calls in five of those eight. Trying to get back to the middle. Going along. Passes it. Dane Smith. Cuts it back up to the middle. Dropping it back. Now looking to attack. Smith passes in the center. Shot wide. As Byrne couldn't get it. Coming up on the midway mark here in the second. Jackson with the hat trick already. As Alexander just lost a stick. Ball for grabs. As they, oh, just wide. A flag is down. And it looks like it will be on the Archers. So Chaos will get the first man advantage tonight. And it looks like a one minute slashing penalty. Looks like it was on. Dominic Alexander. Chaos going to man advantage when we get back. They hold a 6-4 lead. Back in Salt Lake City, Chaos about to go on the power play for the first time tonight. 5.52 to go. As Dominique Alexander getting a one minute for slashing. And Frazier will take it out. 
for the chaos as they go around the horn to start the power play. Continuing to go around the horn. And gets it to Smith. Jumps inside shot. Guyoman gets a piece of it. Goes out of bounds. Chaos coming away with it. 33 seconds going on the power play. Smith with it. He'll pass it back to Jackson. I'll make that Frazier to Jackson. And shot. Star! On the power play. It's okay. And it's now 7-4. to four. And Jackson to O'Keefe got inside the arch. And it looked like he slipped it in. Left hand side. Oh no, he went to the right. Just ahead of the netting of the stick by Geidelman. And his first goal of the playoffs puts the Chaos up by three. Chaos with it now. And the pass. Frazier to Jackson as he's to the right side of the net, behind the net. To Frazier. To Berg. Berg looking to attack. And he'll pass it. Chaos attacking. Coming up on four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Trying to set up in front. Geidelman out. He'll take control of it. Gets it. This is Warren Jeffrey passing to LeClaire. Or make that Jeff Trainer. To Manny behind the net. To Holman. Holman with it now to the right side. Drops it back. Schreiber. The field. Saved by Riordan. Chaos will look to take it out. Six and the ball's loose. Chaos get it back though. And a pass. The ball's up for grabs. Still up for grabs and the archer's coming away with it. And this is Connor Fields with it. Passes the Schreiber. And a pass. To the right side, dropping it back. And Fields with it. Fields setting up in front. And, oh, Riordan right at the post, able to keep it out. Chaos coming away with it. Driving. And a pass got away. Geidelman will take it along the left side. He'll pass it. Archers get it past midfield with three minutes to go in the half. And a drop back. Another pass. Getting over. This is Trey LeClaire dropping it back. The Holman, he'll pass it on the right-hand side, cutting it to the middle. And Schreiber passes, now behind the net. Two and a half minutes to go. Looking, looking, now going to try to attack. Going around. And shot looked like it was blocked. And it'll be a shot clock violation on the Archers. As we're coming up on two minutes to play in the half. Riordan passes. Chaos trying to take it across midfield. They will. This looks like Dane Smith. They'll pass it. The Frazier back to Dane Smith. And he'll drop it back for Ryan Smith. And he'll get it to Jackson. Jackson looking. Looking passes. 
And ball got away. And it will go to the Archers. As Burn could not come. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to keep it with the chaos. Burn coming away with it. Defender falls. Burn in front. That's Dang Smith. And the chaos have now doubled up the Archers. It's now 8-4. to four. With 78 seconds to go. As Smith took advantage of the guy falling down. Oh, that was Byrne who took advantage of it and got it to Smith. And I think that was... Mac McMahon, who's still looking for his jock right now. Second goal of the night for Dane Smith. Puts the chaos up 8-4. to four. And Adler wins the faceoff. Adler. Adler. Shovels it to Frazier. Now trotting slowly behind the net. Getting it to Jackson. And he'll pass it up. Chaos looked to go around the horn. We're under a minute to go in the first half. Cook passing. Now pass back to Cook. Cook passes it to Frazier. Frazier looking to attack. And got Aaron passing. Archer's going to end and lose it. Kyle Jackson, great defense, but the Archers still coming away with it. They're going to make one last push before halftime. And it looks like they're going to call a timeout with 27.9 to go. Closing it on halftime with the chaos up 8-4. Archer's looking to try to get something before halftime, trying to deflate some of this momentum the Chaos have had. Chaos has scored two unanswered goals and have outscored the Archers in this quarter, 4-1. to one. will contest for the last shot. Going behind it at the cement. Passes. Archers going around the horn. Contesting for the final shot. 15 seconds left. Schreiber. Schreiber. Shot. Reordered stops it. Let's we'll see if the Chaos try to make a drive for the goal. Oh, Archers coming away with it. Well, last chance. Two-pointer. And shot. Score! the can yes it will Pullman beats the buzzer I'll imagine they'll still look at this but for the moment Archers close out the first half with a goal let's see start with an aired pass by Riordan and it was Fields Passing. Yes, that is a good goal. And Marcus Holman indeed beats the buzzer. Yeah. 
Halfway home in Salt Lake City. Chaos leading at 8 to 5. Thank you. 
Halfway home in Salt Lake City, Marcus Holman beating the buzzer. To trim the Archers' deficit to three. And so far in the first half for the chaos. Kyle Jackson coming into the game only had three goals in five games this season. He so far has a hat trick in the first half. A huge reason why the Archers lead it eight to five. In addition, Dane Smith with two goals, Burn, Cook, and O'Keefe with one goal. Goal scores for the Archers, Ament, Fields, Schreiber, Ambler, and Holman. Chaos out shooting the Archers 22-17. Better shooting percentage, 36%, 29%. More shots on goal, 14-12. Archers coach just nine turnovers, chaos ten. Archers causing six turnovers, chaos five turnovers. Archers 23 ground balls, chaos 16 ground balls. Even in the faceoff dot, chaos with seven saves, Archers six. Chaos 58% save percentage, Archers 43. Archers got a Power, uh, a penalty which led to a power play goal. And it's 8 to 5 at the half. And if this holds the chaos, we'll await the winner of the 2 7 matchup, the Atlas and the Cannons. This will go on tomorrow afternoon at 2 30 at 6. The Redwoods and uh, Whip Snakes will play for the rights to play the Water Dogs on Labor Day weekend. Got some baseball action going on tonight. Let's go to the Diamond. A final from earlier. The Royals defeat the Cubs 6-2. Right now, top of the ninth in Baltimore. Braves 3, Orioles nothing. Orioles trying to snap a 15-game losing streak. Doesn't look like it's going to happen tonight. Yankees leading the Twins 8-2 in the Bronx. That's in the bottom of the seventh. Middle of the ninth in Tor uh, Buffalo. Tied at one between the Tigers and Blue Jays. Top of the seventh in Cleveland. Tribe leading 8-1 on the Angels. Top of the seventh in Boston. Red Sox 6, Rangers nothing. Middle of the eighth in Cincy. Reds leading the Marlins 5-3. Through seven in Tampa Bay. AL Divisional Powerhouses. The White Sox and Rays clashing. White Sox leading it four to two. Bottom of the fourth in Houston. The Astros leading the Mariners seven to one. Bottom of the fifth in Milwaukee. It's Nationals two. Brewers nothing. Bottom of the fourth in St. Louis. It's Pirates two. Cardinals nothing. Through two in Denver. It's Rockies two. Diamondbacks nothing. And the Bay Area battle between the Giants and Athletics in warm-ups. Set to get on their way in about 40 minutes. Mets and Dodgers and Phillies and Padres. And we even got some NFL preseason to report. Right now on ESPN, Chiefs leading the Cardinals 10 to nothing. That game, 74 seconds to go in the half. And in Landover, it's tied at three between the Bengals and the football team with just under a minute to go in the half.
Second half when we come back. About to start the second half here in Salt Lake City. Chaos up 8 to 5. Archers, though, with a buzzer beater by Marcus Holman. Now, call it sounds awfully familiar to game, the game two of the Stanley Cup final with the uh, Lightning and Canadians. Blake Holman with a buzzer beater. Well, Coleman beats the buzzer. Holman beats the buzzer. That was interesting. The archers have got to come out punching here in the second half. They're fighting for survival now. As Kelly and Adler coming out for the face-off. Adler coming away with it for the chaos. Adler passes. And a center and pass. Only other passes is burn with it. Drop it back to midfield. Now he passes. Go keep. He'll pass it. Now along the right side. Another drop back. To Smith. Smith passing to O'Keefe. 
Keith looking to attack. Trying to go in. He can't get a shot off. So he has to drop back. Passes. Burn with it. Burn. Attacking. Looking. Shot high and wide. And it looked like he stepped in the crease in the process. So the archers will get it. See if they can build momentum from that buzzer beater. Alexander will take it up for the archers. Looking. Passes. Ament with it. Behind the net. Trying to attack. Ament looking for some help. Looking. Passes to Manny. Now he drops it back. And now looking to attack. Attacking Schreiber. Schreiber. Passes to Ament. To LeClaire. And LeClaire's shot goes wide. They will stay with the Archers, though. And a shot in Riordan. Looked like he got a piece of it. Play goes on. Archer's going to try one last shot. No go. And it's going to be a shot clock violation. And Riordan will take it and pass it. Chaos trying to come up with it. As that. I think that was Jared Newman. Archer's took it back. Driving. Now I have to go around the horn. Somehow they got it back. And. A two-pointer shot goes wide. We'll stay with the Archers. And a minute will pass it. An attack. And he falls down. Flag flies. As Fields will get it back. And it will be on the chaos. Looking to attack. And shot just goes wide. It'll go out of bounds. And Archers for the first time tonight going on the power play. And a bent stick for the chaos. And it looks like a holding on Resch. And he basically tackled him. Patrick Resch will sit for 30 seconds. Archers with a chance to try to trim the deficit on the power play. They go around the horn to start off. Schreiber passing. Back to Schreiber. Back to Ament. Dropping it back. Shot score! Ambler on the power play! And the Archers trim the deficit to two! And let's see if the Archers can build some momentum on the Holman buzzer beater. So far, so good. And a nice little screen that allowed... Ambler to beat Riordan high left side. And for Ambler, his second goal of the night. Princeton guy getting the job done. As Adler will come away with it for the chaos. And the ball's up for grabs. And Adler with a lost it. Ball still up for grabs and now taken by the Archers. And it's up. Yeah, no, Archers got it. Ratliff passes. Got away. And it will go back to the chaos. Archers getting careless with the ball. Third, and that's their ninth turnover to chaos with 13. Archers causing seven of those turnovers. As Cook will pass it. The right corner. Now looking to attack. Getting it over to Cook. 
Looking to cut back to the middle and attack. He'll pass it. Looking to attack. This is burn. And a shot goes wide. It will stay with the chaos. Couldn't quite aim it. Jackson with it. Trying to attack. Jackson. Shot wide. And he was in the crease. So we'll go back to the archers as he could not get it on net. And the archers coming away with it. Graham Hosack with it. Osik passes. Holman to a mint. Going around the horn. We're coming up on seven minutes to play here in the third. A mint with it behind the net. The Holman. He'll drop it back to Schreiber. And he'll pass it. And driving. Trying to drive. As Fields has to pull back. Fields. Shot hit Riordan. Ball up for grabs. And it looks like it will go to the chaos. And now Glassini will take it up for the chaos. And he'll drop it back. And this is Jack Rowlett. Passing. And set it up in the center. But Jackson having to retreat. He'll drop it back to Roulette. And he'll drop back and now pass to Jackson. The burn. Burn. Cutting it to the middle. And he'll pass it. And attacking. As this is Ryan Smith. He'll pass it. Eight on the shot clock. Chaos. The guy gets something. Frazier. Lost it. And Geidelman will come away with it. He's charging. He'll pass it and the ball gets away. That guy don't gets it back. Get it over to Jeff Trainer. Guy don't got close to midfield and the bad pass almost came back on him. Chaos with it now. And this is Dane Smith. And a little drop. O'Keefe will drop it back to Berg. On the right side. On behind the net. Five minutes to go in the third. Berg. Drops it back. Chaos trying to go around the horn. Looking, looking. Berg. Uh, make that O'Keefe. Couldn't come up with it. And the Archers will. This is Trainer. And he'll slow it down with the Holman, and he's telling him, get back on your side of the field. Holman with it. And a passing. And attacking. Shot score! Schreiber! Makes it a one-goal game! And don't look now, the Archer's coming back! Archer's building that momentum for the buzzer beater. 424 to go in the third. Chaos clinging to a one goal lead.
424 going to third. Chaos holding on to a one-goal lead, but Archer's building momentum from the buzzer beater by Marcus Holman. And then that's been on a 3-0 run. And spotting Philadelphia up for grabs. Rio run in the last 7.36. And face-off taken by Adler coming away with it. Chaos have got to do something to try to stop this run. They have not scored in the last nine minutes. Jackson, who's been a big part of this offense tonight, stepped up for Chris Cloutier in his absence. Chaos going around the horn. Cook passes. And a drop back. Pardon me. Cook with it now. Looking to attack. Cook. Lost it. And it will go out of bounds. We'll stay with the chaos. And now behind the net, this is Jackson. Jackson looking to attack and passes it to Byrne. Now he'll pass it back. Cook and two pointer. Go! That's Dane Smith from two point land, and the chaos increased the lead to three. That's one way you can stop a run. Fire a two-goal shot. As Cook with a good screen. And he bounced one on Geidelman. Looks like he beat him five-hole with a bouncer. Let's see. I think he did. And his third goal tonight, so he gets a hat trick. And face off. And violation, it will go to the chaos. Troy Ray with it now. Jackson with it now. So we pass the three minute mark here in the third. Jackson. The right in the net now drops it back to Smith. I make that Frazier. Drops it back. O'Keefe with it now. Looking to attack. O'Keefe shot. Goes wide. It will stay with the chaos. Two and a half to go in the third. Jackson with it behind the net. Jackson. Jackson. Shot and hit the post. And who will get it? Looks like it will stay with the chaos. Chaos 31% shooting. Archers 26.9. Chaos 1 from 3. Uh, one for three from two-point land. Archers 0 for four. And another shot from two-point land, but Geidelman this time getting it. Archers coming away with it. This is Trainer. They'll pass it. Go Ment. Coming up on 90 seconds to play here in the third. He'll pass it. This is Holman with it. He'll pass it. And another pass to center. And now the ball up for grabs. Still up for grabs. And 
Archer's able to get it back as this is LeClaire. And now the Archer's going around the horn. Going to attack behind the net. Trying, trying. Could you get the shot off? Flags fly. And it looks like it will be on the chaos. So the Archers with a man advantage. Looks like this is going to be on Rallet. And he'll be called for holding. Now the archer's going around the horn to start the power play. And a drop back. And center pass couldn't pull the trigger. A meant with it now. And passing. And Holman shot wide. It will stay with the archers. Nine seconds to go on the power play. 31 on the shot clock, 35 in the quarter. A little back and forth. LeClaire shot score! OH! IO! Trey LeClaire scored! We know! It's now 10 8 chaos! It's the rookie from Ohio State getting into action, making it 10 8. First goal of the playoffs closes the gap. 29.2 to go. And phase off one by Adler. Adler bounces it. Oh, high and wide. Geidelman might have gotten a piece of it. Jackson will take it up. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. And flip. Burn. Burn. Ten seconds, center and pass. Shot, Geidelman keeps it out. Archer's going to get another buzzer beater. Right left, right left, pass, shot, score! A man with a buzzer beater and the Archer's trimmed the deficit to one. Two buzzer beaters in one game, are you kidding me? Both by the same team. Just two different players. Ratliff running with a full head of steam. Sees a mint. And a mint. Ah, oh, that's in. Archers living on the edge. Buckle up. We got a good fourth quarter upcoming. Chaos 10. Archers 9. Oh, now they're going to review it. Chaos are going to challenge, so let's listen in. Okay, we'll find out, but from the looks of it, it was a good goal. We'll go into the fourth. Chaos 10, Archers 9.
Have you not been entertained? We start the fourth quarter. Chaos hold a 10-9 lead, but the Archers, once again with the buzzer beater as we look at the replay. And, yeah, that's a, that's a good goal. I don't even know why the Chaos challenged it. And the face off taken by Adler. He slipped and falls. Able to get possession of it. Up now, the Archers coming away with it. Chance to tie it up, maybe even take the lead. Chaos lone goal in the third, a two-pointer. Right now, the difference maker. They say Archers looking to attack. And dropped it back to Schreiber. Schreiber shot high and wide, a flag flies. And it looks like this will be on the Chaos again. The 32nd for holding. And that's going to go on number 16, Mark Lassini. Archers with a chance to tie, maybe even take the lead on the power play. They're going around the horn to start things off. Power play tonight for the Archers. Two for two. And gets it over to Fields. Fields drops it back to Ambler. Passing. They go around the horn. Ambler. The Fields. Back to... And shot. Riordan able to keep it out. Ball still up for grabs. And Fields able to keep it in. We go to even strength. Ambler with it. And they go around the horn. Ament with it. Passes. Another pass back. Oh, no, that's Ament. Someone else was behind the net. Ament. Now behind the net. Looking. Couldn't pull this trigger. Goes wide. It will stay with the archers. Drop back the Schreiber. Archer's now two or three on the power play. And gets it to Manny. Back to Schreiber. Ten on the shot clock. And this is a men. 
Falls down. He's able to get back up. And last shot. No! And a shot clock violation on the archers. And Chaos heave it out. This is Resh with it. And he'll drop it back. Taken out by Dane Smith. And he'll pass it. It's more passing. They look to go around the horn. This is Smith. Dane Smith sets it up in the middle. Shot score! Ryan Smith! Or make that Kyle Jackson! Give the Chaos an 11 9 lead. As Dane Smith sets it up nicely for Jackson. And beats him low left hand side. Well, usually here, players from Michigan, you talk of thinking football, basketball. Tonight, you can talk on lacrosse players. It's Kyle Jackson, four goals. And what's being the difference maker for the chaos is the ball still up for grabs. Ball still up for grabs. And it's still up for grabs. Archers coming away with a penalty and a stoppage. Stephen Kelly came away with it eventually, and they call timeout. And I guess I will too. 8.59 to go in the game. Chaos 11, Archers 9. Archers with the ball down two. We just passed the nine minute mark here in the fourth. It's a gut check time for both these teams. 8.59 to be exact separates one of these teams from a trip to Philly on Labor Day weekend. Archers with it now. This is Ambler. Ambler looking to attack. Sets it up in front. Ball loose. Manny will come away with it for the Archers. Sets it up in front. Field shot. Score! Connor Fields trims the deficit to one. Well, every time the Chaos punches, the Archers counterpunch. As Fields lost the ball, but Manny able to pick it back up and says, all right, let's try this again. And, Man and uh, Fields coming away with it. All right, let's try this again. Victory is mine. Well, not yet. And for Fields' second goal of the night, And face off 
Will, and a holding violation will make it Chaos Ball. This will be Ian McKay. He will pass it. The Dane Smith, he'll pass it. And Berg now to the right of the net, looking to attack. He'll pass it to Jackson. What a night he's had. Four goals, and chances are he's going to look for more. Looking, looking. Now he's going to run back, drops it back. This is Dane Smith. Sets it out in front. Shot score! Chase Frazier! And the Chaos say we can counter punch too! As it's now 12 10. With 7.52 left. Right now, the difference maker is that two-point goal by Dane Smith. And Dane Smith with the setup to Chase Frazier. And his first goal of the playoffs it gives the chaos a little bit of breathing room. Frazier had 12 goals this season. As ball still up for grabs, Archer's coming away with it. Oh, that was Jared Connors, but it looked like it will go to the chaos. Run up on seven and a half to play here in the game. Going away. And shot score! And that's Ryan Smith and the chaos increase the lead to three. That was Chase Frazier setting it up. And for the rookie from Robert Morris, gives the chaos a little bit more breathing room to work with. Smith had seven goals this season. McCaos, two goals in the last 40 seconds. And Kelly with the takedown. Archer, oh, ball still up for grabs. And it will go to the, to the chaos. As Chase Frazier... As it behind the net, now he passes. Josh Byrne, now they go around the horn. Coming up on six and a half to play. Berg with it now, looking to attack. Going around, now he passes. And our pass to Smith. He'll pass it. Tanner Cook with it now. Five players with at least one goal and an assist for the chaos. And Cook loses it. Ball up for grabs. Still up for grabs. Cook now comes away with it. He's going to just run it out and say forget it. Six minutes left. The Archers have got to get it in gear. It's for the chaos, their first shot clock violation tonight. Archers have four. And now taking it across midfield. 
Schreiber has to pull up. Waiting. Now no passes. Looking to attack. And shot. Riordan gets a piece of it. Ball up for grabs. Holman coming away with it. And he'll pass it over to Will Manny. And thought about from two-point range. Riordan getting a piece of it. Archer still with it now. LeClaire with it. Looking. Looking. Oh, no, that's not LeClaire. It was someone else. Two-point shot wide. And it will stay with the Archers. As a, looks like a Ment with it now. Ment. The right side. Trying to... Not able to get a shot off. Still managed to hold up possession. Now behind the net. Trying to set up. From two. And Riordan with the save. And he'll dump it off the roulette. And Chaos coming away with it. And he comes across the field. And he'll pass it. On the left side, Chaos with it now as we come up on four minutes to play in the game. With the winner awaiting the Cannons Atlas winner. And shot, no go as Geidelman keeps it out. And Geidelman, Geidelman, Geidelman! Looking, looking. Geidelman, he lost it, he lost his stick, and a stoppage of play. And the Archers will call a timeout. As Geidelman was charging and looked like he was going to try to get a shot. Are you not to detain? 3.32 to go in a game. Chaos 13, Archers 10. It's crunch time here in Salt Lake City. Chaos holding a three-goal lead. Archers, though, with the ball. And this is pretty much, this possession's their season on the line here. They gotta get something. Moments ago, Adam Geidelman was going, trying to go coast to coast, but... Chaos defense holding them.
Archers just need a goal to start things off. As Holman will take it in for the Archers. Driving, driving, pass. Ament tries to set it up for Manny. He lost it. Chaos come away with it. And Riordan will pass it. And this is Johnny Cernick. He'll pass it out. Ball gets away. Resch couldn't come away with it. The Archers take it. Chaos being careless with the ball. And that's what killed him at the end of the first half. That allowed the Archers back in it. Ambler with it. As we pass the three-minute mark here in the game. And this could be their season, this possession. And a pass. And then looking to attack. This is a met to Ambler. Ambler. Looking. Looking. Now he has to go behind the net. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock. Ambler. Shot. Riordan gets a piece of it. And he heaves it. So now the chaos will look to chew clock. This is Smith. And this is Dane Smith to be exact. And it runs along the right side of the net. Going behind as we're coming up on two minutes to play here in the game. Chaos two minutes away from yet another upset on the Archers in the playoffs. Dane Smith with it. Try to shell it, gives it away. Archers with one more chance. At least. But they got to do something. Going around the horn, 100 seconds to go. Now the left side of the net. They're past, they're outside the arch. They got to do something. This is field. Field drops it back, and it got away from Schreiber. And able to keep it in. Are they weren't? I thought he did. Chaos 70 seconds away. As they can chew up clock, they have to protect the ball. They've been careless with it all game. This is Frazier, and he lost it. As looks like a stoppage of play. And the Chaos will use their final timeout with 56.6 to go. As the Archers may yet again have their season end at the hands of the Chaos. Well, there's a 16.6 second differential between the game clock and shot clock. It's the archers who fought back to, on multiple occasions, make it a one goal game. The Chaos have been able to respond with their backs against the wall. And right now, well, now make it a 19.4 second differential as they put a little under three seconds left, uh, three seconds more on the clock. So it's now 59.4 to go. So for the Archers, it's all hands on deck. As they're less than one minute away from elimination. Jackson will come out with it. They pull Geidelman. And Jackson couldn't stay in bounds. The Archers with one more chance. But they got to move it. Geidelman. Passes. And they can't afford to slow down. Ratliff passes. That's just a little under a second differential between the game and shot clock. Pass. 
And a try for two. Oh, right on it with the save. Maybe the save of the game. That save that will save their season. 23 seconds to go. Chaos with it. And it looks like they are, can just run out the clock. 15 seconds. Smith with it. And for the second straight year, the chaos will end the Archer season. As the chaos can tack it on, they are moving on to the semifinals. They will await either the Atlas or the Cannons. And for the Archers, they will now join the Montreal Canadiens, Las Vegas Raiders, and the Baltimore Ravens. With teams who have three or more losses without a win on TSR. Your final here in Salt Lake City. Chaos 13, Archers 10. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Kyle the Fanatic signing off.